My story is a confirmation of the awesome power of God to transform, to give hope to the hopeless. Journey into drug addiction and abuse started way back 1975. Immediate senior brother he used to he used to send me to go and buy cigarettes. 1978. That was when I began to taste Indian hemp. From there, I progressed to taking of a different kind of alcohol. I can swallow a whole pack of peas, smoke Indian hemp, take a lot of alcohol. After I finished my secondary school in 1982, I managed to finish 1984. On getting to Lagos, somebody, a friend of mine, he introduced me to his brother. And his brother at that time happened to be selling drugs. He made name for himself as a gangster. So that was when I actually tried cocaine. I tried cry heroin, so I added it off. The drug he used to give to me, I began to smoke it. He came in as a seller. 1978 to 1997, it was exactly 19 years when I went into full-blown addiction. I, never, I don't know how to steal, I never stole it. But I can, the, I, what I do is I'll tell lies. I go to people, I will form free cough story, name any kind of amen to the doctor, they give me a prescription. So I'll just go out, go to the people, I tell them, I want to buy, I want to buy the People will pity me, they will give me this money. So I will use it to, I will go back to use to, to satisfy my desire for drugs. There is a law against touting in the airport. I was caught and in the process, I was sent to uh, Kirikiri, for touting. I go to Plug Bank two or three times in a week to donate my blood to buy cocaine and heroin. Somebody saw me and said, ah, boy, you are already dead. I said, I mean, I know I was dead. So I said, let me go home to go and die. When I got home, I just, I just managed to lie down. My father came back and he asked me, is this place hospital? Then why do you come and leave my house? Another thing that drug did to me was that it reduced me to nothing. It makes me to, it destroyed my relationship with my family. It, it makes me to lose focus. Kada ministry where they are helping people to get out of drugs. So I, I went there and luckily I was admitted. I blend into the program and absorb all what they wanted to teach me. In short, it was why I was in the program that I received the call of God. God, now that you have seen me, what do you want me to do in the next phase of my life? He said, I want to use you. Went to the mission school, became a pastor. By the grace of God, I'm 16 years now on the pulpit. 